Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. No, you're not. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. <laughs> you are good, Max. Oh, man. Should I ask about Nathan? By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? You mean lately? Like, any time today? I saw Jefferson talking with Nathan a little while ago, but I try to stay out of his way. I have enough assholes to deal with here. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Oh, man. You should go. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end <laughs> of the world. Okay, That's maybe I won't go, back. but... No, I won't do that, but I'll go. Yeah, you better go. Girl. Artsy dude should go. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I yep. hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes. Bro but don't holes. fuck with Kate. <laughs> I like this revolutionary don't Daniel da Costa. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? See ya at the party. Okay, what is it for to say? Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Mm, what's that? Elisa, why you play hard to get when you're already hard to want? What the? <laughs> what is this meme? <laughs> Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. So I hear. Any word at all, Rachel? I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Mm -hmm. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel is saying. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. Oh boy, you're talking about me. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You Girl, did a wonderful thing. You're guessing me. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. Hmm. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Yeah. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. <laughs> no, they don't. But membership has its privileges. 
Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think <laughs> you and Nathan were exactly friends. No way. I just have to, uh, ask him a question. No way. I saw him leaving campus looking angrier than usual. <laughs> but to be campus. honest, Max, Nathan hasn't been too well lately. You might know more about that than me. Too much. I can tell. You look like you have more than a question on your mind. Maybe asking Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Max? Mm, I see. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize <laughs> in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow and whales. They're must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. Mm. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking what about is that drone doing before here? you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end of the world <laughs> posters. Unless you yeah. know something I don't. Tabanga. I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. I feel like the sky wants to yell at us. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite <laughs> students at Blackwell. Uh, Rachel. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. That's the real secret. Where is she? If anybody knows, it will be you. My dreams tell me that. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Hmm. Rachel Amber is waiting too. Waiting? I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. Our time mean? is on your side. He knows stuff. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. No offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. Mm. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. 
I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. Mm -hmm. But I, I think he sees you, Max. What? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? I try not to. <laughs> Whoa, you really don't like Nathan. How come? Samuel likes everybody until they give him a reason not to. He did. Well, he did. okay, enough said. You know a lot of Blackwell's secrets, so I thought you could help me. Max, I I'm a custodian, not a psychic. I can only help by warning you to be careful. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. <sighs> I hope she finds them now. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Hmm. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate. Then it doesn't matter. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. I hope it's not me. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So You're saying it's me. Next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. <laughs> the only thing that calms them is food. <sighs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Hey. Why are they always wearing gloves? This drone is still spying on me. Oh, hello. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, Squirrel Paparazzi? So how? Oh, food, right. Let's lure them in. Lure. Get that lure. food in your belly. <laughs> Time to go clean up graffiti from those kids. Yep, go on, take a photo now. Oh, so cute. Range finder. I, I got more photos this time than like previously. One, two, three. I don't know how I missed all the other photo ops. <laughs> That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. 
Oh, she jelly. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but phenomenon. even Miss Grant has no clue. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant Ooh. finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Ah, oh, come on. I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Talk to you later, Max. Maybe I should talk about Nathan. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here. Is I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies what? with him and everything. You're so bitter, girl. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now, I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I oh saw Nathan God. pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Oh, dear. I, I can't... That makes sense. We'd get the Nobel. Bye. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. I'm glad Samuel let me know about these rocks. Rest in peace, birdies. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. She mine. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Oh my god. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have co ed dorms here. <laughs> yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Well, there's definitely the map, right? Usually. There you go. Who needs a dorm map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. <laughs> Kate. Supermax, in case you still need it, this room is 111. Yay! I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You are already a rebel. Trust me. Always. And please, please be careful. Promise, of course. We'll keep you posted. Oh, right, Kate 111. It. So, room 111 is the magic number. Apparently, Logan missed this poster. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. This can only be Nathan's room. Oh, you Bigfoots. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. 
He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. This just makes me think of Kate. Ooh. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. <laughs> I sense Hayden is near. Let's go into Nathan's room. Oh. Wow. Oh. Now I need to find Nathan's phone or anything with clues. Max, now that David's not here, any clue to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her get him mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. Yeah, give me a break. Cool. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. The press guy sufficiently best in the world. Sixth day of June. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. Monochrome. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. I really hope they were all consenting models. Oof. That is so Chloe. Yeah, that's all we need to talk, or I'm going to tell everybody what you did, and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh, wait, there's more. That is so oh my god. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Took a photo. Whale songs? Maybe this is the <laughs> only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan <laughs> drugged her. Yeah. It's like a Serial something. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Yes, I would be cool with having this high tech projector. <laughs> I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. Yeah, I don't think so, too. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Let's check it Nathan out. Nathan is way into this party. Bad hey, Gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious party favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell, so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Okay, so Nathan is... Whew. Bastard. <sighs> now I remember why I hate you. Or and why Kate up. will get justice. Party hard. Kate's gone wild. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Panestates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden and I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. 
Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get in a Nemo, a Nemo along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the woman is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. To the Ben from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you in your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love that, Nate. But I'm also in the jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family. Legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. <laughs> back to the mangrove. Sending out good thoughts. Better right back while I have a jaguar shipped to your dorm. <laughs> yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. 100 pills, $250. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. Eesh. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Please, please, please stay away, Nathan. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. Mm -hmm. What's that? Nathan oh. Prescott, all American teen. <laughs> Crystal. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. <sighs> if only all your. And it's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Mm. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. A teen or parent guide to anger management. Um, okay, I guess that's that. Whoa. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Yeah, something hidden behind the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. What's that? Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. What is that? Alright, I think it's time to get Now out I of have here. Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Cool, now it's open. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. <laughs> oh! What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Warren. Max, I got this. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face. Oh. <gasps> you are so fucking dead. <gasps> Get off me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, stop it. it! Come on! 
Oh, oh my head. Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go now. Just walking Plus, around with a gun. My dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. What are we gonna do? Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Whatever. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. <laughs> Buddy guard. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. <laughs> Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. <laughs> I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. God, I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. <laughs> yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like... Every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Autobots roll out. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Behold, Frank's beer garden. <laughs> Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Oh 
fresh meat. So Pompadour must be okay. Good doggy. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. Mm -hmm. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, <laughs> we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank... We didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't <laughs> look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to, and I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog is... And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. <laughs> we're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Listen, I read Rachel's letter. I know how much she cares about you. You read that letter? Huh? The one in my RV? Are you fucking insane? You read my private letter? <laughs> Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Oh, get no. out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late. She's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. <gasps> oh. Get off of me! Motherfucker! <gasps> shit! I need to rewind and do something fast. 
Man. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that oh this will not I just well. need to use my Max, conversational no skills. So <laughs> tell me exactly what I need to do here. Watch your mouth. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally, I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? Okay, where did it start? I, I don't... <sighs> All right. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of... Oh, is that all? <sighs> mm. Listen... Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, still. There's no. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Frank. Right, okay. Frank. Oh, yeah, you. I. Finally. I. Dude, she. We're only here to talk. Shit, you wouldn't have. Puppy Dewey is cute. Um. I could try that. Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you oh broke into my, my RV. <laughs> That's how we got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait. That's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here. And I'll spin you on your ass. What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business. Oh my God. This time... <laughs> The price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. <sighs> Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons involved. Could you put your knife or whatever in the RV until we're done talking. After you pulled a fucking gun on me, you want to negotiate my safety? I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. God, I hate you Blackwell shits. You act like you own this town, like I'm your puppet. Nobody owns me. You understand that? Calm down, Frank. No, I fucked up. Keep fucking up. All right, I can't see no weapons. I could probably ask him to close the door. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. That figures. At least that's out of the way. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the name. Oh, is that. Listen. Yeah, yeah. There's no. Yeah, yeah. And then Come there's the on, dog Frank. thing. Right, okay. Frank. Oh, yeah. You... I. Finally. I. Dude, she. We're cool for. We're only here. Shit, you wouldn't. Of course. No, alrighty. That's very cool. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Yes, we're. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did. And What are you hiding, Frank? 
You should want to help us, not scare us away. Don't you accuse me of anything. You don't know me or who I am, or what I can do, you understand? Huh? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Oh. It's too late, she's gone! You don't even... Let's just talk. Do not ever tell me what to do. What's gonna happen now? Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! Gosh! Wow, she's strong. You actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! Chloe! You shot him! I know. You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... We just want the code for your account book. Now! Define! Whatever! Just... Just put the goddamn gun down! You already shot me, alright? There. <laughs> now leave me alone. Just... Just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. She got the gun back? <laughs> Just every time we Shit. just this could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. <sighs> yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. Oh is there any other way? Ah it's making me crazy. I can't. Uh, I guess I can try. All right, let's do this. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. All right, let's see. Mm, close the door. Okay. Frank. You aim your. Just then. Then it's the. Oh. I'm sorry. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Every. There's no. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I feel Frank. like that last answer I... that pissed him off. Oh yeah, you didn't. I. Fine. I. Dude. We're only. Shit, you. Of course. No. Uh... That's very. Maybe we can. Yes. You and Cloak. This is it. That's the bracelet or the Rachel photo. Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? <laughs> That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it anytime and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is, not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Wow, I softened him up. Take it. Finally, the pissing My him off like multiple times. You, so I guess that's a good sign. <sighs> nice doing business with you. <laughs> Jeez. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Woo! Success after multiple tries, but you know what? I'll take it. And that's the whole point of being Max anyways. The power to do it all over again.
Investigators. Detective work. Chloe. Think like a okay? May. I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. Better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. I next just want to see how the search was going. Thanks, Frank. We're getting closer. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you want to party. If you both want to party. Oh, now we're friends. Jeez. After everything that could have happened. Alright then. See you later.